From New York City, for our viewers worldwide, I'm Shanali Basak, and Bloomberg Real Yield starts right now. Coming up, CPI topping estimates for the third month in a row. Markets and the Fed rethink rate cut expectations and geopolitical tensions complicate the direction for Treasuries. But we begin with the big issue, the Fed's inflation problem. The sound that you heard there was the door slamming on the June rate cut. Inflation. Inflation. Inflation is sticky. It is more than a bump. There is more inflation than people would like. Too much for the Fed. This really complicates things for the Fed. This is a problem for them. A very stubborn situation. I think uh, clearly June uh, rate cut is out of the table. No one is expecting June. We're still holding on to that June call. I think it's a very close uh, call. You will have some rate cut, but it will not be probably what people expected. A rate cut in June, it seems to me, would be a dangerous and egregious error. Right now, that, you know, looking forward, we don't see any rate cuts. There's a real risk of no rate cuts. The Fed is not, in our opinion, is not going to be making any moves anytime soon. I think really is a fascinating moment for the market. It seems like just yesterday we were talking about June or July for being the first moment for the rate cut that you saw by the Federal Reserve. But you can see here by the chart we're looking at that the odds of that are quickly diminishing when you look at Fed swaps. This is a look at the pricing by the markets. And we keep on pushing that idea out. Now, June, July, there's almost a no rate cuts expected by the market by that point. But if you look back at September, November, you start to see the market still pricing it in. Still, you see overall the idea of less than two cuts by the end of this year. Now, if we flip up the board here and take a look at just how yields have been behaving, you see a ton of volatility in the market on many levels of the curve. You have this kind of pressure on the 10-year yield that you haven't seen since going back to late 2023. You are looking at a 10-year now above 450. There are a lot of dynamics that we're going to talk about on what's exactly driving that, but you did see a 22 basis point move really over the course of this period, and it has just been a striking run. Now, Boston Fed President Susan Collins has been penciling in two rate cuts this year. Here's what she's had to say. I don't see urgency and I see lots of reasons for patience. And over the longer term, I think we'll, uh, my expectation is that we will ease and that over the longer term inflation uh, interest rates will be at lower levels. My baseline would still have us starting to ease later this year, but when I see is likely to be later than I had been previously thinking. Joining us now is Brian Railing of Wells Fargo and Invesco's Noel Corum. Brian, if we start here on